Let's take a look at Macmillan Printworks. It's a Mud Creek Models kit that I picked up at the Tallahassee train show a couple of weeks ago. Now, I have a, some video clips of my thoughts while I was building it and a few pictures of it. So let's take a look at uh, the finished building and then we'll go through all the videos and pictures to see how I got to that point. So enjoy. back of the building. This is this is the front. This is the back. This sits up on the top and this sits up on the top of this. All the walls are primed and painted along with the uh, corner posts. I just finished them up. I just left the primer on that because masking tape goes on. Okay, I got two of these. Put together. I got all the windows painted and I got the glass in them. I have this, the masking tape on there, so all I have to do, I'm going to paint, paint this flat something in the morning. And uh, I can see I got a little couple of bubbles in here, but that's okay. So that's um, to simulate tar paper. And then I have these little things right here for the wood slats vertical. Now they show a few of them going horizontal, but I think I'll leave out the horizontal ones. I don't think it's on here. Yeah, see right there, they show some that are horizontal. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the horizontal ones. I'm just going to keep it uh, vertical. I'm going to have to put the corner posts on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the corner post on the long ones on this side. That's going to go up against the building here. And I'm going to put them on here to make it a little bit easier to put all this stuff together. That's before I put the uh, little strips on there, just to make it a little bit easier. I just assembled these four walls here, and I put extra thick supports on the back, because that's going to go fit up inside here. All the pieces are laid out and the corner posts are cut and I always take an inventory of everything and try to figure out where all the pieces go and what bracing goes where and what parts of the building go to what other parts. And here's after everything was primed. The windows and doors and Final assembly of two of the pieces and some more pictures of uh, what I did along the way to get things going. It may look like it's a difficult kit, but it was fairly easy to build at this point so far, even with those small slats that you see right here. <laughs> Getting it done. You see right over here. This was the hard part right there, <laughs> getting all those little things in there. Now what's going to be even harder is putting the angle braces in there. And so just the windows, the roofs, I got the roof sections uh, ready to go. 
I got uh, two ones to get the tar paper on it. I got the line scribed on there for the tar paper. The other two roofs, this short roof here and this roof right here is going to be the corrugated metal, so I have to prime that yet and get it the right color. Here are some more photos of what is completed so far. I attached the second level over top of the loading area and put all the supports in. That was fun and the angle supports you can see right there. And then I started working on the corrugated roofing material and the other roofs with the tar paper. I had to flatten everything out. And here is the different sizes that I used for the corrugated roof panel. Since I used Elmer's glue for the tar paper, I had to weigh it down to straighten it out because the, the uh, roof started to warp. So here's a few more pictures of everything that I had done so far. Just in uh, taking a break and figuring out what to do on the project next. Today we're working on the corrugated aluminum panels. Now I have these cut to uh, they come 11 scale feet wide but I have it cut to 27 inches and the reason I chose 27 inches is because I looked I googled it googled it and uh, actual panels are 26 inches. I started out making them three foot wide right here so here's the 27 inch ones and here's the three foot ones so there's this pile here this is the one and a half strips and here's two strips right here I already cut some of them in half but like I said these are 11 scale feet so we're gonna cut these in half down the center and this is my second blade on here because this is the actual metal ones so we go down to five and a half foot and just just mark it turn it and I'm not gonna put the square on it or anything like that I'm just gonna eyeball it in and cut well that wasn't bad it was about uh, about 20 minutes to finish it off so here we go here's all the smaller ones right there I finished this one and I weathered it a little bit I used uh, these three powders light rust new fresh rust and just a tad of medium earth so that's what it looks like right there not bad looking and this is what I'm working on right here these are all the skinny ones and then every once in a while I put a thicker one in in the uh, row now on this one I'm using all thick ones here and I put one skinny one here and it's taken 12 of the wider ones here so I put one skinny one right in the middle here and I'm gonna do just the opposite on this one that I did on that one there I'm gonna put more of the wide ones and put the skinnier ones in here basically what I do is I pick it up and take a look at see which side looks the best I just smear the glue on there take it by the tweezer let's move this back a little bit
and I just try to stagger them just very, you know, so that it doesn't look like it's all in one straight line. So that's that's the process of putting these uh, corrugated roofing panels on. Here it is. The roof, the larger roof, with 12 pieces left. <laughs> I'm going to wash my hands because i got glue all over it. And then I'm going to uh, start weathering this thing. So, all I, uh, you know, once I put that up there, I'm going to have to weather the rest of the roof and the building sides and stuff like that. And then work on the tower for the... water tank this thing right here goes up on the very top so that's going to be fun all stick build and shingles a sheet of shingles there so <laughs> support the center of this because you can see right here it's i don't know if you can see it right there but the edge of it is warping so I'm gonna have to take out these center posts right here because that's what they suggest on doing and do more like this put the supports all the way across or maybe on this one here I might have to put some support on here just on the inside of the walls to keep it straight because uh, this one already I could see it warping a little bit so pull this off and straighten it out with wood on there so I'm satisfied with it let's see what it looks like on here let's put it up here put this one right here And this one goes right here. All right, and then the water tower will be right there. I'm not sure how <laughs> long it is, but uh, we got some pretty long ones there. I guess it's optional how long you make it. You can see right here the warpage in the roof before I put additional bracing on it. I did a live stream and uh, put some support sticks on the roofs and here's what they look like right here. This is what it looks like right there. This part goes on that part of the roof. That fits right there and take the uh, Monopoly iron off. It goes this way and that goes right there. Some additional photos of the progress so far and the bracing that I had to put in the different roof panels. The top one I didn't have to put any in there because I glued it down and you can see the four braces on this one here. And a couple of views before I did the tower. I had to call Frank Saladino for the drawing for the tower because it was not included in the kit like stated so after I got that I completed the tower and worked on the water tank the shingles on there and scribed some additional lines to make to simulate the wood on there because it came out smooth here is the signage on there there was three signs that I had to apply to it before the sign on the back, which is this right here. It gets mounted on the far roof. A few more pictures of the progress so far, different angles, so you can see what it looks like. I got a clean slate over here. So we're going to finish up this 
sign that goes on the roof and this looks like it's all in one piece so cut this off of the plate here and there's the eye Boom. are we going to add that one I guess not I don't know we'll see maybe we'll do it like that put three of them on there top of the uh, large back roof it's going to go on an angle so I'm gonna to have to carefully mark this like so maybe I'll have it go this way here so I'll mark the first one right there <laughs> and what I'll do is I'll just come up here start my hole like this. structure is a simple one by Foscale Models. It's Burdick Freight Dock, which is going to go right back here. Actually, I have three small kits that are going back in this small area right here. It's a small kit, but very detailed because the entire freight dock, that right there, that whole thing is stick built. The only thing that comes in panels is the building itself, but the rest of it is all stick-built. So that's going to be a fun kit to do, 
and I have two more Foss scale that are going to go along this edge right here. So that's my next project. Videos will be out on that as soon as I get finished. It's like three buildings all together, so I might do a couple of videos on that when I'm finished with this one and uh, the other two. So until the next time, we'll see ya and have fun with those structure kits. Thank you.